Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 22 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing me on doing at least two things every day I don't want to do even though I know they're good for me. So yay for day 22 and yay for only 78 days left to go. Oh, that's still a lot, but it's less than 100, so we're good by 22 days, right? Woohoo! Um, <laughs> I still don't feel good. I kind of, I... I have this crazy brain, crazy idea that if I get some sleep, if I do this, if I do that, I will just magically be all better. And I was writing in my journal tonight and I realized that once again, I want to skip the process. I want to be like, okay, if I do this, then I get to be all better. Like if I make my videos, then my house will magically be clean. Um, it's not going to magically clean itself. I still have to do that. And it may or may not be clean by the time I'm done making my videos. Um, so, you know, if I, I, I just like to skip the steps in between, which is why I'm doing these videos because I need to stop skipping the steps and I need to just do things. Um, so one of the things I don't want to do and I have not done is, um, making my song that I recorded public that keeps popping into my head that I should do that. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to, um, <laughs> but maybe I need to, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Um, I have issues with that because I'm like, I just spent all this time copywriting the other one and trying to make sure that I'm going to get paid for it and everything else. And then if I just make this one public, I don't know how that's going to work. So, um, excuse me, not a hundred percent comfortable with it. So I'll have to figure something out, but maybe when I post my other song, I'll post that one with it just because, but I'm pretty sure I don't sound very good and it's, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's just something I don't want to do. And I keep thinking that I need to do. Um, also, I don't really like using neti pots, and I made myself use it twice today. In fact, I, tonight, I'm like, I need to go to bed, and I'm so tired, and I should, I could probably just sleep. And then I'm like, before I go to sleep, I have to use a neti pot again, and I have to take a spoonful of apple cider vinegar, and I have to brush, floss, and listerine my teeth, and I don't want to do any of those things, because I don't feel good. And, and then, of course, there's that crazy part of my brain that thinks, if I do all these things, I will magically wake up and feel better tomorrow, and... My body, I, my body heals itself better when I let myself rest and I let myself sleep, but it's still, I don't have the best immune system and it still can take me twice as long as anybody else to get better. So if I have a cold and it takes two weeks for my cold to run its course, it's going to take two weeks for my cold to run its course. But taking a shower today, which I did not want to do because I take a shower every other day. And so I'm like, it's shower day. It's not a shower day. So yesterday was a shower day. I took a shower. Today was not a shower day. I did not want to take a shower, but I took a shower and I was grateful I took a shower because the nice hot water just kind of cleared up my sinuses just a little bit. And um, my face that was stuffed up and hurting didn't hurt quite as bad after I took a shower. So I was like, okay, it's beneficial to do it. It's, it's not stopping all of the mucus. It's not making my cold go away but it temporarily makes me feel just a little bit better. And using the neti pot, again, isn't making my cold go away, but it is helping to clear out some of the mucus and making me feel just a little bit better. Same thing with the apple cider vinegar. I don't really like it, but it clears up my throat so I can actually have a voice and talk so I can make a video. So it is <clears throat> not my favorite thing to do, but it is worth it. Also, I did not want to go to the store today. I really debated whether and not to go because mostly I wanted to make some I want to make some dinner rolls but I didn't finish cleaning up my kitchen because I don't feel good and I don't have the egg substitute that I need to make them which I would have to go to the store and it was further away than I wanted to go so I went to a Walgreens which I know is way more expensive than going to a grocery store and I only went so I could buy some Kleenex that has lotion in them because um I have toilet paper but I don't have Kleenex and I have the cheap toilet paper and it's like seriously tearing up my nose. My nose is looking like rain, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And I don't like that, but I can't stop my nose from running. So I bought the expensive Kleenex with the lotion in it. And I don't really want to spend my money because it's coming out of my savings because I don't have any other money right now. And I don't get paid until Wednesday and I haven't got any car accident settlement money. So it's not like I have extra money to be spending it on. But I'm doing it because I don't want to have a red nose. I don't want to have a sore, raw nose on top of everything else. And I don't have to have a sore, raw nose on top of everything else if I 
use the lotion Kleenex. So I bought you lotion Kleenex, and so that's helping my nose. Plus, I have some, um, some, um, well, it's not Neosporin, but it's, it's, um, stuff that I've been rubbing on my nose that's been helping. It's kind of like Vaseline, only it's not. It's called CeraVe, but it's, you know, I think they use it instead of Vaseline or Neosporin. Um, it's something dermatologists came up with, but I know they have it for lotion, which my, I had a dermatologist tell me I should use this lotion, and I bought it before, and it's really good lotion. And I thought when I got the samples from work that it was for lotion, and it turned out that it was supposed to be like for ointment for like skin cracks and things like that. And I was like, well, it works really good for my nose that's all red, red and raw from <laughs> my crappy toilet paper. So um, I also bought some expensive soft toilet paper because I was like, I'm not doing this crappy stuff because I'm just ornery. And I bought some juice because for whatever reason, when I feel sick, water just tastes nasty to me. And even though I drink water all the time when I am sick, I do not like to drink water. And I know I need to drink fluids because I cannot be dehydrated, especially when I'm sick. I gotta flush the stuff out of my system. So I bought a bunch of apple juice for myself, So, which is a good thing. I needed to do that. And I'm drinking the apple juice because I won't drink the water. And I'm trying to do these things to take better care of myself. And again, I'm just letting myself watch TV, which is a waste of time and energy. And I just need to let myself go to bed and I just don't want to. Because I, I don't like having a stuffed up runny nose. And I just sometimes, I, I, I think it's a, my ADHD brain or maybe it's just my dumb brain or maybe it's just how I grew up. I got attention by being sick and so I got to do whatever I wanted when I was sick. And so I have this mentality that I can do whatever I want because I'm sick. But I don't get better by doing whatever I want when I'm sick. I get better by resting and sleeping and staying in bed instead of just doing whatever I want. But my brain is still like, ooh, but we're sick so we can do whatever we want. And I'm really struggling fighting against that thought to do whatever I want because that's not gonna make me feel better. So I don't want to do the things that make me feel better, but I'm trying to do them anyway because I'm hoping that one, it makes me feel a little bit better so that I will sleep better so that hopefully I will get better a little bit sooner or that I just don't get any worse than I currently am because at least I can sort of function and I am grateful that I could sort of function today and that I was able to function even though I did not want to. So um, I am grateful for that and I am grateful that God is teaching me and giving me an opportunity to learn to take care of myself. Um, and to learn that I don't have to stop taking care of myself just because I get sick. That's not what getting sick means. It doesn't mean to stop taking care of myself. It means to take extra care of myself, to do that extra loving, tender care, to give that extra effort of rest, that extra effort of um, medication, home remedies, whatever it is that works for me, to read a little extra with my scriptures, to put a little extra into writing and journaling and doing things that will make me feel better um, because if I feel better emotionally I'm hoping it will help my body to heal itself because I do know that if you emotionally hold on to a bunch of stuff that your body can get sick in response to that so I'm hoping I don't know if it's true or not but I'm hoping I like to hope random things that if I continue to take care of myself emotionally that it will help my body to heal itself a little bit faster but I also have to let myself rest and sleep and um, not just indulge in whatever I want just because I'm sick. So that is something I am struggling to learn and I am still trying. Um, but it also doesn't mean that I have to overdo with things I don't want to do and I don't have to overdo with stuff that needs to be done. Like I did not do dishes today and I did some laundry yesterday, um, but I didn't put my laundry away. I don't have a dryer, I just have a washer, so I just hang stuff up around my house or lay it out around my house and I just, it's all dry now, but I haven't folded it and put it away, it's still just hanging up around my house, and you know what, it may be that way for a day or two, and that's okay, um, <clears throat> because I don't necessarily have to do all of those extra things, but I do have to get more sleep, sleep would be good, I definitely need sleep, and doing stuff to help clear out my sinuses so I can sleep, is also good for me, even though I don't like doing any of those things. So I apologize. My video is all about me whining and complaining about being sick. I just, I whine and complain when I'm sick. So 
I whine and complain when I'm tired. I whine and complain all the time. So <laughs> thanks for putting up with me and my whining and complaining. And if nothing else, I'm grateful I'm making my videos and that I am trying to learn something from all of this. And hopefully I will. And hopefully this cold won't last forever. Um, but that's all I have for today. So if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe try one or two things you don't want to do just because you know it's good for you.